Welcome, my friends. I'm Dick Hellman, the president of CPAC, the Christian Lobby for Israel, and Merkel, our Middle East Research Center that supports CPAC through studies and research and more. I'm here to tell you that your tax dollars are being spent to support terror. You would ask me, how can that be in the midst of all that is coming out in the media about the continuing war on terror and those around the world who mean us ill? How can it be that we are spending money on terror? Well, I'm, I regret that I have to tell you that we are sending your foreign aid dollars, the State Department and the White House, with all too often the help of the Congress, are authorizing and appropriating funds, for example, to support UNRWA, the UN Relief and Works Agency. This agency, a UN agency, has schools in a number of countries, everywhere from the Gaza Strip and uh, Judea Samaria, or call it the West Bank if you will, to uh, Lebanon and Syria and Jordan and so forth. In these camps, little Palestinian Arab children are being taught to hate and terrorize and make war against Israel, yes, and against you and I in America. These things ought not be, my friends, and there is really no reason any longer for this 60-some-year-old uh, 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 dinosaur of a UN agency still to be spending hundreds of millions of dollars. Yes, we should meet legitimate humanitarian aids around, aid needs around the world to the extent that we're able to do so. But frankly, these are not the most critical and pressing humanitarian needs around the world. We need to reevaluate the U.S. foreign aid picture and stop sending aid to agencies like UNRWA that do not foster American goals and, in fact, are contrary to our goals and foster terrorism and hatred and war. In addition, we propose to send more billions of dollars to Egypt, which now has a president from the Muslim Brotherhood, and the military there uh, also are in the same boat with him, and we are proposing to send more billions of your tax dollars on such weapons as F-16 fighter planes and M1A1 May Abrams main battle tanks, along with armored personnel carriers, state-of-the-art American missiles, and more. So I think we just need to tell our senators and our representatives enough is enough. Stop sending U.S. tax dollars and foreign aid to governments and non-governmental agencies that do not support our interests and, in fact, have every indication of opposing our interests. Last but not least is the Palestinian Authority, otherwise known as the PLO. They receive U.S. security assistance. We have U.S. military personnel training uh, more than 10 battalions of army security forces for a Palestinian Arab state, a new state in Israel's heartland, which frankly looks like it will never come to pass. Not because Israel doesn't want to make peace, but because the Palestinian Arab Authority cannot get its act together and it only rules what it calls the West Bank, the Arab portions of Judea and Samaria, while Hamas rules in Gaza. So here we are creating an army, which one of our U.S. Army commanders, a U.S. Army general, said about three years ago would be perhaps a terrorist force if there was not a Palestinian state created, a new state, within two years. So here we are with all of these well-trained military forces, trained by Americans with American equipment, with American funding, your tax dollars, and all we have done is create better trained and better equipped terrorists which can come against Israel and in fact against Americans. So these are just a few of the examples, but I think it's time for you to tell your senators and to tell your representatives enough is enough. It's time to stop funding terrorists and their friends who oppose our interests. Thank you very much for listening today. 
go to our website, cpaconline.org, and send your message to stop the funding of organizations of the UN and states and agencies like the Palestinian Authority that do not support our interests. Thank you very much. See you next week.